I'm out at the shop today not to run anything, but to hopefully fix problem. This thermoforming unit has got multiple heater zones. There's six on the bottom, six on the top. The front left zone and the back right zone right now are not working. Uh, this is because the solid state relays in the brain box are not coming on. Now what happens normally is this box sends a signal out to the solid state relay, which is the, these two have taken apart right here. Um, send a signal to this and that allows a high current through to the heater elements, but these two right here have been, this one's been sporadically working, this one pretty much hasn't been working at all, which makes getting consistent runs, you know, pretty difficult. Um, that's probably why I couldn't run the Corvette body yesterday is because I was just getting wacky temperatures from everything and wasn't getting consistent plastic temperatures along with my holder for the sheets, uh, the frame wasn't clamping on properly, but this was not helping me any. So um, I called up Simon at uh, the Site B Automation or Sibi Automation and um, they mentioned that there's a problem with these actually known issue with certain manufacturing dates so i would explain it. this is actually my not the first time i've had well this one down here had failed and they sent me a new one right away um these two i've got to take out of here and get them uh, a picture of the numbers on the side here that kind of give a manufacturing date and serial number type information and then they'll be able to send me up a replacement or anything for this and actually we're, it sounds like we're going to go with a different manufacturer which <laughs> kind of may, might be a good thing if they, you've got problems to get a, a different uh, unit in here from someone else see how it goes but uh yeah this explains why i've been having some difficult with some stuff i didn't really kind of realize again that i was having that problem i thought everything was pretty good but uh when i was running stuff yesterday I just thought something didn't seem right, and yep, it took out the heat gun, started temping, checking all the heating elements, and oh yeah, they, they just either were not getting up to the right temperature or weren't really doing anything at all, and only looked warm because of the surrounding heater elements giving them, you know, a little bit of heat. So I'll pop one of these out, I'll show you kind of what it looks like and everything, and you can see what's going on with it. All right, I apologize. I am back home now because my phone battery died and I didn't get to <coughs> take video of removing these bad boys from the rail. <coughs> Excuse me. The way they work to get them off the rail is you have to come in with a, they'd be sitting in there like this. You got to come in with a screwdriver on the bottom here and get this little tab and uh, that little square tab right there and pull down on it and it's a release a spring-loaded release to uh, pull that off anyway as i was mentioned before the signal from the brain or the plc comes in here that tells the relay to allow the high current over here on these terminals to pass through and go to the heaters there's a little light that lights up right there right there when it's uh, activated, it gets a signal from the PLC. These weren't lighting up or not lighting up consistently, so there was a problem there. I talked to the guys at uh, the automation place, say B Automation, and uh, they said there was a bad batch of these and related to the optocoupler. Now, these are not the first two that have gone bad. We had one right away at the start that wasn't any good, and they, he had sent me another one. I still had it. I took it apart here after these last two failed just to see if I could find anything obvious. And um, the way it comes apart is this is a big heat sink on the back. And then um, in here is the actual high power, high voltage side. And then up here is the low voltage from the PLC comes into a little board in here. And that's this little board here. Um, is the low voltage and then there's pins that go through to connect to this board which is then normally attached in here I've cut it and desoldered some of it to get it off and everything and then it goes into the heat sink and there's heat sink compound on here that then goes to that black plate but um I because that light isn't coming on we know this part is most likely not the issue at all 
<clears throat> because that's the high voltage side. We know it's going to be on the low voltage side because there's, you know, a light should be coming on. There's the little, come on. Focus. There's the little LED that would light up. Uh, now they mentioned optocoupler was bad in, in these. And the optocoupler is actually that little square thing in the middle there. You can see the two pins right underneath that capacitor, that blue capacitor. There's two pins on that. That's an optocoupler. Yeah, it's good. It, you, I could, I don't even actually, I don't know the protocol for testing an optocoupler to see if it's bad or not. Um, but it would be a little hard, even if I did know right now, since they've put um, a sealant over this. It just kind of sucks, makes it troubleshooting stuff a little hard. Because I, I got out the voltometer, getting ready to all to do some checks on stuff, and nope. Can't do it. Not with it potted like that, or I don't know if they call it potted, but uh, sealed like that. So, yeah, this side, nothing on it. This side, all got stuff. I might be able to, I don't know if it does it. Do they, I don't think these are surface mounts, so they're not through hole. So, yeah, I'd have to get that, scrape some of that stuff off, and also have to look to investigate, because like I said, I'm not sure what protocol is to testing for a, a bad optocoupler. But you could potentially replace the optocoupler on these. Just, um, there's a screw underneath this label. If I can focus, come on. There's a screw underneath this label that allows you to pop this front end off. And the front end is then just this unit. Right like this. So, with that popped off, in theory, you could potentially do something on it to fix it. Would you want to in a valuable situation like this where you're running high voltage sort of stuff? No, <laughs> not really. But you, potentially you could. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's, so that's about it. So we, we sent the pictures off of this. We've got to hang on to it just in case for some reason, I guess, for warranty or whatever. I don't know. But uh, we'll be getting some new ones here soon and hopefully get the machine back up and running again. If you have any questions, let me know.